Hey Google, turn off the front lights. You got it, turning off the front lights. Hello everybody, welcome to my channel. About two weeks ago, I bought two of these TP-Link Smart Wi-Fi Plug Mini. And since then, I bought two more. So I have four of these because I'm impressed with the build quality and also with the TP-Link CASA app, as you will see. I'll show it again later uh, in this video. So I'm quite happy with this. So I decided to buy two of the light switches from TP-Link. I want to control the lights outside the house. I have lights in the front and the back. So I got two of these and we're going to do the unboxing. Then I'm going to install them and I will show you again the TP-Link CASA app, which I find very, very nice. Okay, so let's uh, open the box here so that we can install this and see what's inside. Let's open the wrap, put this aside and open this here. And as always, the boxes are tight. You end up destroying the box almost to open it. Okay, so uh, almost the same sheet as in the, um, the TP-Link uh, smart plug with the exception that you have a bit more information here um, as to uh, yeah how to install, but not a lot more. And what do we have here? Safety information. Oh, this was in French. This is in English. And this is the switch here. So you get a styrofoam uh, insert if you need it. And you get the switch itself. And they even give you these uh, marets. I forgot the word in English for this, but I think it's marets. So they give you four of these. And here at the bottom, uh, warning, safety, okay. And here a little booklet about uh, ah, license notice, nothing interesting here. So you get uh, this and all, the, of course, the wires and the switch over here. Okay, so we're going to uh, install this right now. This is the switch that I want to change. This control the lights outside. So I'll put the TP-Link uh, smart plug in that location. Since this is a double uh, switch uh, housing, I had to uh, pop out the, uh, the plate that comes with the switch. So it was a bit difficult to pop out here in the back. The brackets are very strong. So you have to remove this to install this in a uh, double. In the uh, TP-Link light switch, you have four cables. You have the white, the neutral. You have the green, which is the ground. And you have the two load or the two live wires, the two black, that I'm going to connect right here. My cables are all connected now. So you can see here the two live uh, black. The neutral here goes to neutral in the back. I had, uh, as expected, I had problems with the ground wire because the ground is concealed at the back of the box uh, and the box is in the wall. But anyway, I was able to uh, fix the the ground also so now i just need to reinstall everything in the uh, in the box i was expecting a kind of two issues with this installation one is like i said the neutral cable being in the the back of the box and the second issue is when i saw the thickness of the switch here if you have a standard box and not a deep box it's going to be a struggle to push the wire on the side so what I did I push all the wires behind this switch which is thin to make room for the thickness here of the TP link but if you have like a deep box that will be much easier to install okay so I put the cover back on and uh, as you probably can see here the light is blinking uh, amber and green so that means if you look at the uh, setup card here it means that the app config mode is initiated when it is fully green it, it lights up for 30 seconds when successfully connected to the Wi-Fi network when it's blinking amber only it is resetting and when it's red there is no Wi-Fi connection and when it's white lit up when the light is switched off to show the switch location in the dark and actually we can see it here there is a white circle so if I turn the light on manually and I can see the lights are outside or on now this little circle 
uh, turns off. So if I turn the lights off outside, the circle is on. So this is neat. You can see in the dark. So now I need to take my phone and uh, launch the Kaza app right here. So we'll launch the Kaza uh, TP-Link app as we did before. And you can see here my four uh, switches. I have the family room uh, Christmas tree, the living room Christmas tree, the living room lamp, and the, uh, and the heater in my daughter's uh, bedroom. So we need to add a, a device. So we'll just click on plus at the top. And we are adding a light switch, which is here. Smart switch, the HS200. So we'll click on that. Um, what does it say? Before we start, are you wired? Yes, it is wired up. Yes, I have. Check the Wi-Fi light. Okay, the Wi-Fi light is blinking uh, amber and green. So this is good. Next. And now it says waiting. Looking for your smart switch. This may take a minute. Okay, so we'll just wait and see. It's still blinking, blinking here, amber and green. And usually that takes less than a minute. Oh, I have something here. So asking for a device. Let's give it a friendly name. Okay, I'll just uh, call that uh, front, front lights. There you go. So front lights. Click on next and customize the icon. That's one thing I do like in the uh, TP-Link Casa app. Like I said in my first video, you can select the, uh, the light that you want. So the, the, not the light, but the icon. So there are a few icons. There is a radiator. There are table lamps, uh, foot lamps, office lamps. I'm looking for a light bulb. Uh, there is no icon with outside, but you can also take a picture with your camera. You can take a picture of the light as an icon. I'm just going to choose here the light bulb and click on next. And now it's asking for the uh, network uh, password. I just entered my network here and the password So click on next. And now we see the screen says almost done finishing the installation. The light is now blinking green only which according to our sheet here means that it is connecting connecting to the network and it's supposed to turn off after like 30 seconds so still waiting for that so it's not blinking now it seems to be okay and here on my phone it still says almost done oh it says now great your smart switch is all set up it is now saved in your device list okay click on done and I have here if you look at my list of devices I have my switches one that my switches my plugs over here and I have the switch that I just installed over here the front lights so I can click on this here to turn the light on and as you can see here the white icon is off and I can see outside the lights are on and now I can turn this off and the white circle not sure you will see that on the camera I guess so but you, now the white circle is on and the lights are off I can click on front lights I can click on the schedule and I can click on plus here and I can add a schedule when I want the lights to be on and to be off and save it so for now I'll just cancel so and go back here to my list of devices so very 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 nice um, you probably saw here that the um, family room Christmas tree is uh, light uh, gray that's simply because this is far away from my router and I need eventually to buy a Wi-Fi extender a range extender because sometimes um, my phone does not see the um, the switch uh, sorry the plug and that's simply because the plug is far away from the router so installation went well remember uh, quite simple a neutral wire a ground wire and two black live or load wires and uh, you're you're good to go so I'm very happy with this uh, thing I'm going to install the second one for the back uh, the back lights once you have installed your uh, light switch with your Kaza app, if you want to control those switches like we did with the plugs, 
verbally using your Google Home devices. All you have to do is go to your Google Home uh, app, click on Home Control, and then you click on the plus sign here to add devices. So right now it is uh, scanning my devices and uh, I have already done this because you have to enter your account and password. As you can see, I have the plugs here, my smart plugs, and I have here the front lights, the light fixture that we just installed. So right now the lights are off uh, outside. You can see here we have the icon like we saw before, and I'm going to control verbally with my uh, Google device here in the living room. Hey Google, turn on the front lights. Okay, turning on the front lights. So as you, you heard it, and also you see the icon is off, meaning that the lights outside are on, and I can see it here through the window. Hey Google, turn off the front lights. You got it, turning off the front lights. And as you can see now, the icon is on and the front lights are off. So this is uh, very cool, it's very easy to link your CASA uh, app or uh, TP-Link devices to your uh, Google Home. So very, very nice integration. So thank you everybody for uh, watching and I hope to see you soon on my channel. Goodbye.